I felt that it was important that I go on record to say how I really feel at this point. Um, I do agree with many of you that the Biden administration really failed um, because they aided a genocide and still are. And although I don't know what is going to happen with Trump, you know, whether he'll be a good president or not, um, I probably was too quick to judge. And I really don't think we could, I don't think that the Democrats really ran a good campaign, uh, to be honest. I've been opening my mind um, a little bit, educating myself a little more, and I don't blame the, you know, the Palestinian community or the Arab community or whatnot for not wanting, I mean, I know some did, but not wanting to vote for Kamala Harris, especially after the way that they had been treated and the way um, the administration had pretty much, you know, ignored them and been complicit in the genocide. I don't know whether Trump will be better or worse, but I'm hoping and praying. I hope he's not, when he says to Israel, finish it up, I hope he doesn't mean kill everybody or some people think he means that he wants them to stop, but uh, they're not stopping, so I'm afraid they might be taking it to mean, you know, everybody. I, I don't even want to think about it, but I just want to say that there were a lot of things that the Democratic Party, you know, I, I brought up Democrat, haven't really been able to get away from that persuasion, but there were a lot of things they did wrong and this they didn't relate to the you know the blue collar worker or the you know the poor or the may you know the cost of food or housing to some degree but not not really there wasn't a real um and like i said the biggest problem was that they and qatar now has said they don't want to meet with Israel and, or, and the U.S., Blinken, and Hamas anymore until they're serious because nobody, it's all been a charade and everybody knows it and they don't really, Israel doesn't want to quit. And America is basically, I hate to say it, but America is like Israel's bitch right now. So, um, and Israel, the Israelis are really being assholes and have been for over a year now and longer, maybe a hundred years, but especially now. So I do not want to offend anybody. This isn't about being anti-Semitic, like many of you know, uh, I'm Jewish. My mother was Jewish. So please, please don't think that, but we really have got to stop this genocide. That's the most important thing. And, you know, we do need a president that's going to put Americans first. And I won't go on and on about what I think. And maybe the, like, transgender brainwashing of children will stop with a, you know, with a Republican president. I don't know, because I don't like that. And it's, the abortion thing is a first world issue. They, if they want an abortion, they could just go to another state. That's not the issue. The issue is that there's a genocide. And I think Trump listened to his speech when he won. That he, you know, he is, I think he is saying that, you know, he's pres the pre that everyone, that all, you know, everyone, uh, popularly voted for him. I didn't, but um, let's just hope for the best. That's all.